all right welcome back guys so here i have this simple scene and i have created this simple uh, sci-fi looking door and this door has an opening animation and that animation is derived through an action constraint so here i have this empty and if i move this empty in the x direction you can see that animation is triggered so the center part rotates and both sides of the door start moving for opening of the door so this is what we are going to do in this video today okay so let me show you how action constraint works with uh, an easy example so here i have two gears and let me animate these so select the first one go to frame one and press i and rotation so it creates a key for the rotation now let's go to about frame 80 and rotate it in the y direction to about 180 right click insert keyframe so it creates an animation do the same thing with this one i rotation and at frame 80 this time i am going to move it in the minus direction so minus 180 and again insert keyframe so our gears are rotating now let's add an empty so shift a add an empty let me move it outwards now if you select these gears and go to dope sheet in dope sheet you have the option of checking the action editor so select this action editor and both these gears have the animation action here you can see it here so let me rename it for both gears so gear 1 and if you select the second one rename it to gear 2 so these are the actions that are driving this animation now to add it for the action constraint we'll just select this and press this fake user and delete it again select the second one fake user and delete it it's not deleted but it's saved as a fake user in the blender file itself now to add the constraint select the gear go to constraint and select action now here in the action constraint window select the target to be this empty and i want this to be moving in the z direction so i'll change the channel to z location and i want the movement to be between 0 and 1 so minimum 0 maximum 1 and the action for this gear is gear 1 and it starts from frame 1 all the way up to frame 80 great same thing with the second one constraint target empty z location from 0 to 1 this time the action is gear 2 and frame starts from 1 to 80 now if you see if i select this and move it in the z direction so z z it drives our animation all right so let's create the same action for this door now so i have created this door in two parts so this one is the upper part and this one is the lower part if you see this has all these components and the bottom one has these components and if i move it upwards you can see it dissolves so uh, to do that i have just created another top part and on this part i have added this uh, boolean and this upper one is the cutter for this so if i hide the upper one it looks like it is dissolving within the door okay 
so to create the animation for this door i am going to use an armature using an armature has a benefit over using a component that you can control individual faces of components within the same armature and all the bones that you will animate they will all have single action that you can control afterwards so it is easier to work with armature using the action control so let me just create an armature so shift a armature single bone and go to edit mode now i'll just place three bones so this first one is going to be for my center part that will rotate it let me just scale it down and again add another one and just move it upwards so this one will control the upper door and this one will control the lower i'll put it somewhere here great now because the first action is to rotate this so i'll join this one with this bone so select this one shift select this one and press control p and keep offset so now if you go to pose mode you can see if i select this bone and move it it moves individually but if i select this bone it takes the lower bone with it because this is the parent so i'll just quickly rename these bones so select and f2 so center one is going to be rotate upper one select f2 upper and lower one select press f2 give it a name lower all right so now in object mode select the door shift select the armature and press control p and in here select this armature deform with empty groups do this with the lower door select shift select the armature control p with empty groups great so now if you see here in the vertex groups you have three uh, armature connections so upper rotate and lower so in the upper door we do not want this lower one so delete it and let's just go to edit mode and in edit mode select this uh, middle part so l and in the rotate vertex group select assign now select the rest of the parts so l and just select the upper and press assign so now if you select the armature and go to pose mode you can see that this individual bone controls the center part while this bone controls the whole door so let's go to object mode again and do the same thing with the lower door so select this one and this is pretty easy so you do not need the upper one or the rotate so delete those go to edit mode select all and select lower and press assign okay so now let's animate it so select the armature go to pose mode select the middle one and at frame 1 press i rotation and i want this rotation to be in about 22 frames so press r and just make it one complete turn again 
press I rotation okay so as you can see it is not working because I have uh, completely uh, made it with one rotation and you can see the Z value again one becomes zero so to do this properly I'll just undo it and here in the rotation do not select this cotton in but select the XYZ Euler so here you have limited options so I want this movement to be in Z direction yes this one so again at frame 1 press I rotation and at frame 22 make this Z 360 and just insert keyframe so now it works perfectly great now after a little while say about at frame 30 I want the doors to start opening so select the upper bone press I location and within the frame 60 it will go up so drag it up to here and again insert keyframe do the same thing with this one so at 30 press I location and at 60 just lower it and insert keyframe so now if you play the animation great okay so now the animation is working perfect uh, however you can see the boolean is not working so to make it work just select this armature and drag it on top of the boolean so this becomes the first modifier and boolean becomes the second modifier so now it works perfect great so now uh, we'll create the action constraint so just shift a and add an empty i'll just drag that empty sidewards here it is and now I'll just select the armature so here is the armature and if you go to pose mode and come here to the dope sheet and action editor you can see the armature action if you select the individual bones here is the benefit of using the armature so if I select each bone you can see the animation is different the keys are different but the action is same the armature action so all these three animations are saved in this armature action so I'll just make it a fake user and maybe delete it okay so let me just rename this empty to be handle so F2 H A N D L E right now again go to pose mode select the armature go to pose mode and with each bone we'll add the action constraint so select the upper one action and target is the handle great and again I want this to work in the Z direction so I'll select Z location from 0 to 1 action is the armature action and it is starts from frame 1 and ends at frame 60 now to copy the same action uh, on to these bones I'll just select shift select these bones and in the last shift select this one go to pose 
and in constraint select copy constraint to selected bones so now this constraint is copied to all these now if you go to object mode select our uh, handle and move it in the z direction you can see it derives the animation so this is how you can control the armature animation with the action here you can see i have also controlled this uh, light so as i move my empty in the right direction you can see it changes the light so this is done with the driver editor with driver editor you can control this type of properties i'll show you that in the next video and if you like this video subscribe and we'll meet in the next video thank you so much bye bye